Welcome to my channel. I've got another little saw restoration. This is a um, made in Sheffield um, Spear and Jackson saw. You can see that it's um, it had better days. Of the teeth are pretty good. Got no missing teeth or anything. This is quite aggressive. I'm not sure as yet what the TPI on this is. And this is uh, extremely dirty. It's got some markings on the back here and it's been covered in paint and grease, as you can see here. So, um, same principle applies. I'll pull the handle off. Hopefully, I won't have any issues with these um, fasteners. And um, I'll get working on the handle first, I think. Generally, it's, it's good. There is a little bit of a uh, missing piece here on the, on the horn. And, um, but aside from that, everything else looks okay. I mean, apart from it being, and being battered a bit, but um, that's what you get with these old tools. Well, that was very easy. But we know what happened last time when we started off easy. And I just pull the um, push the other end out. And I'll continue on. Now to clean that up. I'll apply the same principle as before using a bit of um, 120. I'll just go over that. I'm just going to be careful about this bit here. As you can see, it's just a very slow process. So I'll be doing this. I'll try to get it down to the timber as much as I can. But um, what I might try to do beforehand is uh, try a little bit of paint stripper to see if I can get rid of some of the paint in there without having to wear down this um, the marking here. OK, 
Okay, so I paint strippers on. On that side anyway. I'll just let it do its biz and come back in a minute. Not sure kind of what kind of paint this is, but it's very strange. Just kind of leaves like a pasty residue rather than it actually um, peeling off. Now, well, give it a bit more time. It's pretty interesting. If I can get that paint stripper off without affecting the timber underneath, I can probably pretty much get get it back to what it was, I reckon. So I'm going to continue with the paint stripper and do what you've just seen me do there, which is just gently scrapping the uh, paint layers away and see how far I can go with that. Definitely not your conventional way of restoring a handle, that's for sure. So I'm making good progress here. Uh, it's taken time, of course. This thing is um, not easy to remove. But um, as soon as I get a little bit further down, where I don't need to touch this bit, at least with the sandpaper, I can then continue on with trying to remove the other remaining paint with the sandpaper. Nothing like doing a little bit of tool restoration on a rainy day. It's quite nice. Stuck inside the garage here and enjoying the uh, the sounds. While I was making a bit of progress on this. Still quite a lot of thicker sections of paint that are uh, a little bit more difficult to get out. And what I've been doing is I've just been using, yes I know, a little bit of an abrasive, but just trying to get rid of gently some of the top layers of the paint. Biggest issue now is the tiny amounts of paint that are stuck inside the, the grain of the timber and what I'm doing here is I'm applying a bit of methylated spirits to see whether or not I can dissolve the remnants or at least the majority of them anyway. So it's been a couple of hours working on this very slowly and I think I'm going to leave it at that. Yes, there's still a little bit of paint right inside some of the deeper grooves, like up here, but um, down here. So I'll see if I can take those, but if not, I'm not going to really bother. It's a pity that a lot of the black, as you see here, was on the back here, was in the handle, was no longer there, and the bottom here as well. But that's just part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this aside and now I'm going to focus on the the actual blade, the saw itself with a little bit of the white vinegar in it the original condition as I shown earlier on in the beginning of this video the amount of surface rust, there's heaps of it but the, um, the teeth are all good So what I'm planning on doing is just gently starting to uh, just use a scourer, one of these, and that, and start just applying the white vinegar on it and see how much I can actually scrape away, because as you can see I can't actually fit that inside and I don't have a big enough dish for it. Combination of the scourer, wire brush. It's um look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? And this has only been probably about five minutes worth of work. 
So I'll press on. I just put a uh, plastic bag that I cut in half. That will stop the table from absorbing the vinegar. And I'll just let it sit there for a while, every so often coming back to it and applying a little bit more vinegar. I think I'll just see how that goes, given that I've got a few more soils to do. So I'll come back and turn my attention to the handle again. And uh, what I was thinking doing here is giving it one more of a, you know, bit of a sand, bit of a, a clean up one more time, and then just going ahead and applying the, lin the linseed oil to it to protect it. The other thing I've got to do too is just finish cleaning off these, the buttons. So um, that's the next task. So the good thing about brass is that I didn't have that problem like I had with my previous tenon saw where these, where these fasteners have um, rusted in because they are brass. Now, the downside of brass is that they are soft and these, there's actually two or three of them, actually most of them have got some form of damaged thread. Let's see if I can get some focus on here. So I need to look at repairing these. And um, before I can start putting them together. So between using you know, pliers, knife, hammer, etc, whatever, I uh, managed to try and score the thread as best as I could. Unfortunately, two of the, of the five, these two here, are severely damaged but um, they still will fit but it's not a it's not a nice fit so um, eventually I might have to see how I might be able to get uh, replacement brass if it's even available I don't know so I'm going to leave these as now complete and done and uh, turn my attention to putting some linseed oil on on the handle I'll leave it at that. I'll keep on applying a little bit more in there, but you can see it's got that, it's not that clean because as I said, there's still paint right inside some of the grain and um, I don't want to sand it anymore, so um, I'm just going to just leave it as it is. You know, as I say, it's got a little bit of patina. So it's been about at least 12 hours that um, the white vinegar has been sitting on this. Again, not the best approach because I haven't actually submerged it in the vinegar. But um, what I'll do now is I'll give it a good wipe and see what it looks like. I'm not expecting a miracle, but if I can get a lot of that off, it'll be great. And that's not too bad. It's still not there though. We might have to, there was, has been a lot of rust on that, so we may have to use a mechanical, i.e. sanding or uh, wire brushing, all that kind of stuff. Because, yeah, there's a little bit that's come off here, which is great. But aside from that, the rest is fairly persistent. It's about as much as I can do with the vinegar. Uh, this side is the worst side. And if I show the other side, you can see that's a lot better. Alright, so it's been a few hours. I've left the um, 
phosphoric acid do its bit and then I went back again with the vinegar and this time I'm using a wet and dry and it's actually turning out really good because check this out Let's see if I can wipe it down better it's all come back up which is fantastic you can even see down here this is beautiful I couldn't have imagined all this coming back up and being visible I thought it was gone you can even I don't know if you can see that but you can see almost like a florally pattern there let's see if we can get right in close I'm super excited that I was able to salvage this. So I'm going to continue with the wet and dry and try to get as much of the of that off the, towards the teeth here. And um, I think once I've done that, oh, the other thing too you'll notice is the the actual pattern. Um, if I can, the machine marks. Can you see that? This is really good. I've now finished it. So I've neutralized the acid and um, I didn't want to, you can see it's, it's much better than what it was obviously but I didn't want to um, sand too much down I wanted to try to retain the machining marks and obviously the etching here so I'm just going to leave it at that I tried as much as I, can, I could to remove that surfaced remainder on the teeth so I've given these a bit of a clean You can see all the paint's been removed out of that now. And if I don't know if I can get to that detail, but you can even see the S J. So I'm very, very uh, happy that I was able to retain all the details. Still a little bit disappointed with um, the finish on this, but given all the, you can see just the dirt, the white remainder of paint. But I really don't want to sand it much more than that. It's just one of those things it's just going to have to accept. But, as I said, still happy with that. Everything else is okay. What I'm going to do now is just to drift these home because that way I'm not putting pressure on the threaded area to, um, to tighten them. Finally the end result. 
So it's taken me two days, probably about three or four hours worth of work. So I mean, um, it does require a bit of patience. But uh, there's nothing like restoring an old hand tool, I think, anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed doing the uh, the restoration. And um, if you've got any comments, any questions, yeah, shoot them through. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Side note: I've got my um, Distant D8 here, which, um, from what I've read online, is dating pre 1917. Anyway, this is this is one saw that I'm not going to restore. I'm just going to leave it as is. But I thought I'll try the vinegar with the wet and dry and lo and behold I'm getting that same same beautiful markings on this one. Look at that. That was completely hidden under the surface rust. So um, that's a nice little technique that I'm going to remember. So vinegar, wet and dry this is, I um, can't remember if it's 600 or 800, but yeah, just a bit of TLC and we're getting a little bit of this engravings back out.